What's up, family? Instead as I hope everyone having a great morning, a great evening, a great afternoon. Today's video is about how to grow your own food and clay soil. But before we start talking about growing food and clay soil, let's harvest our purple potatoes in our 30 gallon compost container. So now that we're done harvesting our purple potatoes from our 30 gallon compost container, let's talk about growing food and clay soil. So trying to plant your food directly in this clay soil can end up very tragic. And this is one of the reasons why. Do you see this? This is what, underneath this clay, this is what it looks like, a whole bunch of rocks. See how hard it is for me to break this? I'm trying my hardest. So imagine if it's this hard for me to break this clay rock, how hard is it for the roots to penetrate the clay? Look at this clay soil. Do you see how it's not even grass everywhere? That's because a lot of the grass can't even survive in the clay soil. You wanna know why this spot is like this? This is clay soil too, but you wanna know why this spot is like this? This spot is like this because in this whole area, I put a whole lot of pine straw. The old pine straw that we had around our house, I just placed it back here. And it decomposed and it made it easier for things to grow in this clay soil. So if you haven't already experienced trying to grow in clay soil, I guarantee you can ask somebody about planting in clay soil and they say, my plant never grew. And the thing is, it might not even die. It might just stay the same as when you plant it. So if you got a baby pepper plant, it's just gonna stay like that forever. It's not gonna change, no matter how long you leave it. Why? Because the roots can't penetrate the soil. Look at this, look at this. See my finger? I'm trying to press down in this, all right? Clay soil has tons of nutrients, but if your roots can't go through the clay, then your roots won't uptake the nutrients from the clay. And also, clay holds and retains a lot of moisture. Now let's go over here and look where I just planted the sweet potatoes. Let's see how hard it is for me to press down on this clay soil that I amended with compost, grass clippings. Check this out. It looks like clay, right? But well, look, I amended this soil so it's easy. It's easy for the roots to break through this because it already has tons of compost, tons of grass clippings, food scraps, and a lot of different organic plant matter. So if this is your first year starting the garden and you have clay soil just like us, my advice would be to never plant your crops directly in the clay soil. There are some crops that do good in clay soil, but you still wanna add compost, topsoil, uh, cover crops and different things like that to make it easier for your roots. So there are three different ways to grow in clay soil. First way is compost. Compost is the cheapest way to grow your food in clay soil. So how do you add your compost to your clay soil? See that? That's what I was talking about earlier. You see these clay rocks. You can build a house out of this. You can make clay containers. Look at this. How do you expect your roots to grow through this? Then we add it like this. Then we mix the clay with the compost. And it's that easy. That's all we have in our 30 gallon compost containers. Grass clippings, vegetable scraps, cardboard, and red clay. So there are three different ways to mix your clay soil with your compost. You got the broad fork, you got the shovel, and you also can use a tiller. The second thing you can use to grow food in clay soil is topsoil. As you can see right here, topsoil comes with a lot of different wood chips. Third way to grow your own food in clay soil is using peat moss. Peat moss is great for two different reasons. It's super loose and super easy for the roots to grow through peat moss, and it also holds and retains moisture. First time trying purple potatoes. It's 
Scale of 1 to 10. Want me to be honest? Scale of 1 to 10. I'm going to give the purple potatoes a thousand. 